Hi friends, this is Brigitte Ilje Salazar and today I'm in Zagreb, Croatia. We spent the last couple days here exploring the neighborhoods, seeing the sights and having some amazing food. So today we want to take you guys to some places that we love and other places that we haven't tried yet but have had our eye on. Let's go. We're here at Cogito Coffee. This is a specialty coffee shop in the heart of Zagreb and I ordered the filtered V60 Ethiopian roast. <laughs> oh wow, instantly warms the soul. It's fruity, citrusy, it's just so bright. Brightens up your whole day, brewed so well. I love, 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 love this coffee. There's even almost like a chocolatey note at the end of it. We're here at Brucci Burek. We're having a classic Burek this morning. It's kind of out here in a little bit outside of the center of town. It's like outdoor stalls where they have butcher shops and then a farmer's market as well. So let's go try some Burek. I just want to try a Burek. Okay, babe. And you have some... Okay, cheese, perfect. Yes. This place is as authentic as it gets. You have the window and you just order your burek. We got the cheese burek and they cut it up for you right there. They're just coming fresh out of the oven. Really nice people. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go in with my hands, kind of like a pizza. Let's get this corner piece here. Oh my gosh, you see how soft and doughy that pastry is and it's so crispy on the outside. Wow, look at that. They're baked in these large pans and then they flip them out and cut them with the electric knife. Look at the cheese in there. It's like almost like a, it looks like egg almost. Oh, it smells amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Incredible. It's hot. The cheese is like a, almost like a feta. It's got that tartness. Wow. But so soft. And then you have the crunchy on the outside. It's perfectly flaky. And the doughiness in the inside, it's like intertwined within the cheese. Oh my God. It's so creamy. It's like salty and then uh, citrusy too. Wow. Oh, look at this. Look at this crust here. It just looks like a skin on there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna go in for one of these big pieces now. Look at that. It has so much bounce to it. Oh. Mm. Mm. I just can't get over how flaky this top layer is. And look at the bottom, just as flaky. And then you have the soft, doughy center. Look at that. Wow. Mm. That was so delicious. Turns out it was cow's milk cheese. I thought it was maybe sheep's cheese or goat cheese. Absolutely incredible. Huge portion, only two euro and 50 cents and a quick bike ride out here. So we're just gonna go ahead and cycle over to our next spot. We're just getting started. Let's go. We're here now at the Central Square, back in the center of the city, and we just had to stop and kind of take in all the excitement. There's so many people around, there's the trams going back and forth. This is kind of like the central hub where everything kind of radiates out. There's the uh, open air market, and then there's food restaurants, there's shopping, everything. This is just a great central hub.
We're in the heart of the city and we're at a restaurant called Fixlek and we're having Fixleki, which means small bites. So this is our spread. Look how beautiful and colorful of a spread we have here. Over here is the pork cracklings. We have pickled vegetables, fresh red onion. Here is a traditional Croatian sausage. Looks a lot like chorizo. And then a cottage cheese with sour cream dip. We have some more pickled vegetables over here. This is lard with paprika on top. It is a traditional small dish of Croatia. First thing I want to try is this lard dip. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Perfect room temperature, softer than butter. Mmm. Mm. Taste very mild flavor just like pork fat cracklings mm. super super creamy very soft don't really taste the paprika in there it's mostly for color but sitting on the bread it's so nice it tastes like a very traditional kind of country style snack the bread is so soft it's like a country white loaf Mm, very good and I can see how it goes well with the pickled vegetables let me put a little pickled vegetable on there you got a small white onion pickled white onion to put on there mm. 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 so good mm. these pickles are house pickled and they're just the perfect amount of vinegary tanginess to go with that lard. Mm. So good. I love that. Let's try the cottage cheese and sour cream dip. The cottage cheese in this dish is a lot more firm. It's not like a soft cottage cheese as we know in America. It actually has more of a texture and firmness of like a feta. Mmm. Oh yeah, wow. So it's a little bit salted. They season it a little bit, but it definitely has the taste of a cottage cheese. And then the sour cream to kind of smooth everything out. That's really, really good. Nice and cold, fresh. I'm gonna go in for another bite with some red onion. I was reading on the menu that many of their ingredients that they use in the kitchen every day come from the Dolok open air market, which is just right around the corner. You can taste that in the onion. That is a fresh, fresh onion. It hardly has any of that spiciness that you would expect from an onion because it's so fresh. They're sliced to order and that is just fantastic. So juicy. Going in for the pork crackling now. These are super crispy, almost like a potato chip. Mm. 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 So good. I was also reading that these cracklings are rendered uh, boiled to remove the fat and that's why they're so crispy and kind of almost like a pork crackling like a jerky. So good. That's probably where they're getting the lard from too. It's just a byproduct of the cracklings. <laughs> and last but not least, the local sausage. This is a wonderful looking sausage, a dry salami. I prefer the drier sausage and salami chorizo style. So this looks really, really good. Ooh, super smoky. I can smell it. Oh yeah. That's the one. Wow. So much smoky flavor. Mm. Mm. Wow, nice chew, a little bit spicy, just a little tiny kick. There's a lot of seasoning in there. It's very good. Smoky is the word to go with. It, smoky over everything. Really, really delicious. Wow, still the smoky flavor is still developing on my palate. I love these.
these with the onions and the pickled vegetables and the lard toast. <sighs> Wonderful. I'm gonna combine a couple flavors here. Let's do some of this cottage cheese. Some of that local sausage and onion. Wow, that's a mouthful. Love it. Combining foods, ingredients, making little configurations. So good. So let me set the scene for you. We hop off the tram and walk about six minutes up a residential road, which is not very steep either. Just a short walk and we come up to Okrudiak. And this is a traditional Croatian restaurant just outside the city and just as you're walking in, it's like a wonderland. You're greeted with a beautiful open uh, kind of wooden canopy and then you have this beautiful forest with a running stream and these little mini uh, funicular carts that kids are playing in and we're in a large open courtyard and surrounding that is the restaurant itself and we get seated right away we were kind of lost when we came in because there's so many directions you can go in we get seated right away and our waiter asks us if we would like some kind of aperitif and it's exactly what we were thinking because we just had our small bites at Piklik and they bring us William's Pear Rakia which is one of the staples here and Rakia is a spirit that is up about 30% alcohol and up so that's what makes it Rakia and it's local to Croatia so that's what we're gonna have right now they just brought us the menus the weather is incredible and I'm so happy that we're here. This is so worth the short 20 minute trip right outside the center. This is the Williams Pear Rakia, which the pears they were letting us know are from Portugal, which is like, well, full circle. And because uh, we started our journey there. So we're gonna try this now. Oh, wow. Super high in alcohol and you can taste that. But you also get the undertones of pear, which is really, really nice. I love that, perfect little aperitif for a meal. All right, I'm at the end of my rakia. I tried to go pretty slow, but the service here is so fast that I'm like, okay, well, I just gotta kind of hurry this up. Uh, it's more of a aperitif, not so much a sipping drink, but I'm very excited to try the pear. Mm. So good. Fruit soaked in alcohol, mm. but still very crunchy. It's not soggy or anything, so good. So they start us out with a couvert or a mousse bouche, basically a, a specialized appetizer that the kitchen brings out to you. They brought us a veal pate with caramelized onions and feta with stuffed cherry peppers. This pate smells amazing. They also brought us some bread, but I want to try it in its purest form. Let me uh, get a little thing here. Oh, wow, so good. Almost tastes like a, the texture is kind of like a tuna salad. Very flaky, I'm getting like peppery, just like the veal meat, not gamey, well, very well seasoned. Let's try with a little bit of the onion. Mmm, <laughs> oh. Those are balsamic onions. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect compliment. Delicious little touch before our meal comes out. I'm gonna try one of these little peppers with the feta. Mm. So good. That's a sweet cherry pepper. A tiny little bit of spice to it. 
Hardly. Mm. And like a soft whipped feta, the olive oil and arugula. That's really good. Then we have our house baked bread here. Look at this bowl of bread, first of all. This looks like it's for six people. And it looks like you have kind of two different breads here. You have this one, looks like it was brushed with butter or has a lot of butter in it, more like a brioche. And then this one is like a grain seed bread, a little softer. This one's a little more firm, like it was baked with butter. Let's do a little bite with some of the pate. So good. Wow. The bread in Croatia is phenomenal. Mm. You have that crusty outside, soft, doughy interior, but strong enough that you can put dips and spreads on them. So good. This place is so big. They've already hosted 450 people today. There are several halls within the interior of the restaurant that they've seated different parties, like 150 over here, 150 over there, and then over in the open grass area, there's another party going on right now. But we're in the center courtyard, and you can't hear anything coming from anywhere. It almost feels like the restaurant is empty, but they've already gone through so many people today, and they've still got some parties going on. And uh, it's just a whole compound of a restaurant. This is amazing. So the recommendations of the server today were veal, uh, duck on a spit, and lamb on the spit. So we've been craving to have some traditional Croatian lamb on the spit. We definitely went for that. And that's what we're having today with potatoes and cream spinach. Fantastic. Here's a spoon you can use. Okay. okay. So enjoy the meal. Our lamb on the spit has arrived. This beautiful spread of lamb with perfectly blistered potatoes and then our cream spinach. Ah, I'm so excited. It smells so good right now. I'm just getting everything in. It looks so nice and crispy and juicy. Let's go ahead and start digging in. <laughs> All right, let's cut into here. Whoa, super tender lamb. Let me try this before I add anything to it. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so much flavor. Mm. Mm. Seasoned to perfection. Wow. Everything has just brought out the flavor of the lamb. It falls apart as you're chewing it. You have some of the crispy from the roasting. Oh, wow. Let me try some of this potato. But that lamb is juicy, so juicy. Sometimes you wonder if it's cut, if it's gonna be a little drier or anything. No, not at all. That's so good. Mm. 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 Potatoes are perfect, nice and crispy on the top. They're cooked next to the lamb, you know, so that they can blister and get crispy, but they're so soft and fluffy on the inside. And the cream spinach is such a nice, almost like a sauce for the potatoes and the lamb. I love this. Let me, let me try it on its own. Mm. So good, creamy spinach chopped up fine mince but it's a very pure spinach flavor mm. Mm. maybe just a little bit of garlic mm. oh this is a good piece right here kind of on the outside there mm. oh wow this tastes like it's basted with salt water as it's roasting oh man cooked to perfection. Wow. That saltiness of the skin, almost as if you're having like roast pork on the spit, lamb on the spit. Wow. It's all like the smokiness, the charcoal flavor. You can taste all those aromas in there. Wow. I'm just going crazy over the outermost layer of the meat here. It tastes like a pork crackling. Oh, wow. 
check this out. This is just so nice. The meat here. Beautiful, beautiful color. All right, coming to you guys from inside of a little trolley cart. That was an incredible experience that we just had in this 100-year-old restaurant. The food was amazing and the service was out of this world, but most of all, I feel extremely thankful that we got to sit in this restaurant that's gone through so much, so much turmoil through the country and still standing strong. A generational example of amazing Croatian traditions. And this is gonna wrap up our video for today. We had a wonderful time at all of our restaurants from having coffee to Burek to Fiklik and now our grand meal of a lamb on the spit. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support our channel and we will see you guys on the next one.